by the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Javarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there. Got a nice interception and set up their offense in great shape. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Seven yards left for second down. Ball at the 10. Purdy now to throw off the play action. And he couldn't get rid of the football. Trying to buy a little time, but he'll just tuck it and go down. with it on third and long. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the 49ers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Gold to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself, get the first down, and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I'd get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head, his head coach, and probably his agent, too, saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. Allen going to keep it again. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 37. Throwing on first down is Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Now Allen throwing on second down. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and 10. They've got to get after him one more time. Snap 
comes in one, and it's Allen. And that's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Already down two scores. They're going to go for this rather than settle for three. Now Allen again. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down, and the 49ers are going to get the football back. Purdy to throw it on first down. Pressure gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Purdy. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Out of the gun, Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw, Purdy. And he will find his man, Samuel. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now on first down, it's Purdy. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. They'll get it to the 23-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over... We step aside. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. And with that, they're now out of timeouts. There's still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter. Looking for the crossing receiver, and he's got him. It's Samuel. 
Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. McCaffrey on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Niners have moved out in front by three touchdowns. And oh, it's no good. For the second time now in this first half, he's missed an extra point. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. McKenzie now from his end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They find some open field here. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Here's Allen to throw it. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. And they're going to be set up now with a ball at the 13-yard line. Operating from the red zone now. Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Allen on target there to Stephon Diggs. And the Bills are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yeah. of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed, and a lot of football, full half to be played. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Any return that gets you to midfield is a great return. One first down, and you're almost in field goal position. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Looking to throw again on second down. Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And he wisely will throw that one away. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. That's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. 
The kick by Gold is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On play action, Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Blitz coming, and down he goes. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. On play action, Allen. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 27-yard line. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. On first down, Allen. The left side caught by Diggs. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Works right side into the hands of the tight end, Knox. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they can be set up with a first and goal. And again, it's Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills are able to cut into this lead as they score on the opening drive of the second half. Allen will try to throw for it. And he is in for the two points. And they're back within a score as the lead's cut to eight. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Throwing on second down. Purdy. And the grab by Croft. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Purdy with it on third and long. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. 
The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he learned that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Out to his left. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Defensively by now, you know his ability. You know he has it in him to take off and run. Yeah, because they knew coming into this game, but we've already seen examples in this contest that he can run the football. I think they're going to examine different ways to rush him now. Is it, are they going to do it with different lanes? Are they going to use a spy? But they have to come up with options because right now, he's hurting him. Both right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. the kicks away and they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds so really good starting field position up past the 40 yard line starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41 yard line on first down Purdy and he can't find anywhere to go with it and he goes down Ed Oliver that time the one to get in there and bring him down I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that but that pocket closed a little too quickly and down he went yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Okay, ready. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Niners on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Now Purdy. out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Well, he was looking at a dime formation. Six defensive backs on the field. So he's looking for anyone, anyone to throw the football to. But he didn't have anyone open, so he took off and ran for it. But he came up just short, and that brings up fourth down. And try to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. Christian McCaffrey unable to get to the marker. And that will force a turnover on downs. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Defensively, Jimmy Ward in on the stop. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Right back to Singletary on second down. 
Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he won't get close. Only a yard, fourth and three. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he is going to have the Bills first down as this defense were a little too loose there. They give up a gain of 19 on fourth down. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Allen. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, here's a classic second guess. I thought he had a better chance of a positive play if he just ran it himself. The coverage downfield was really good. That one falls incomplete. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Allen now looks to throw. Finding Knox there, complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Singletary and this play goes nowhere losing yardage back to the 15 two yards the loss second and 12 now Allen and that throw behind his man he missed him incomplete now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him all focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Throwing is Allen. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by Bass is good. And with a little over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. So he ran it on the sideline for his first chance in the ball game, and it didn't come until the fourth quarter, but he connects there. A big one to give him the lead. Boy, you talk about coming in cold. I don't care how many times you kick it into a net. You're not really ready when you go out there and all that beef is coming at you trying to block the kick. Big spot, and he delivers. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. On a bad time late for a poor throw, it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to... 